All right, guys. So this is what I'm up to over here uh, at work. I want to uh, complete this quickly. All right, I, I cleaned the chassis both sides with alcohol. Okay, let's get some towels. Wet them real good, and uh, just go over everything. Wipe it down three times. Not once, not twice, but three times. Do it. Both sides. All right, you want to get rid of all the oils and grease. All right. I already did one side. All right. This wrap here, this chassis wrap, is from rcdecals.com. Okay. This is actually the same one that I did on my Chrome Lossy 5T. Right. Um, this one here, my buddy Gary RC got it for me. Right, he also picked up um, the same wrap for his 5T. And uh, just to give you, that's it. You, if you guys, there it is. RCDecals.com. That's it. Um, I I think I I have a video of how to install this already. All right, and just. The chassis obviously is going to be cold. It's going to be a little bit on the chilly side to the touch when after you clean it. All right, and so what I what I do is um, after you clean it very well, grab your friend. This is my friend, all right? With nitros, with engines, and warm it up. Warm it up. Just warm it up. All right, touch it, see how she feels. What that's gonna do is it's gonna make, it's gonna help that wrap there, that stick to it. All right, still cold, but it's not freezing anymore. Align that the best you can on here. All right. Align it the best you can. Try to get it centered. Try to go left to right. Try to get it in the middle. All right. And then start with the middle. Put pressure on the middle. Let go. Get the heat gun again. And hit it with the heat gun. If you have that aligned well and you're happy with it, heat gun it. What's going to happen is it's going to start to fold. It's gonna start to melt, it's gonna start to fold, it's gonna curve into here. It's gonna curve, all right? Do not touch it yet. Stop with the heat gun, get back to this. With the middle out, the pressure. So pressing it, pressing it, pressing it. The middle out, do not do the sides in, middle out, all right? Go from middle to right, middle to left, and then just go up and down, up and down. Okay, here it is. I had to use two hands to uh, line it up best I could. All right, so I can, it's good shit. It's for made in 3M makes it. All right. Almost every anything 3M is good shit. All right, so I'm gonna go to the middle. Right through the middle. Cut that line up. Okay, I'm gonna warm her up and it should start folding. There you go. See that moving? See that melting and going down, see that? There we go.
down. Put some pressure and fold it up. Make sure no bubbles. Make sure no bubbles. That's it. All right. Okay. She's nice and warm. I just hit it with the heat gun one more time. She's warm to the touch. I'm just gonna. Smooth it all out. I'm not gonna put any spray silicone yet, and I'll do it tomorrow. I'm gonna let this cure onto the chassis overnight. And that's it. I'm just spreading, just spreading it out, I'm spreading the curves. <clears throat> okay, so after that, get yourself a knife. Or and um, stop popping these, these out. Yeah, stop removing these. Get a hobby knife is preferred. I can't find mine. Must be upstairs. <clears throat> I still haven't organized my uh, workbench here. And so anyway, stop popping up, popping all these out. All right. Alright guys, this is all wrapped up, looking all pretty, very nice, you guys already know, this chassis is going to be full of trophies soon, <laughs> this, this chassis right here is going to be full of trophies, alright, so, I'm sorry, but that's how it's going to have to be, alright. Up here will always stay nice, hopefully. All right, I'm gonna protect it as best I can, keep it clean. It will get dirty, but here, man, there's gonna be trophies on here. And I think uh, the trophies is a good thing. That means you're using it. it means you use it. All right, so. But uh, that one up there, that I would hate it to get trophies to that one, but. All right, so anyway. Yeah, doing good. I'm going to let this dry overnight. Tomorrow, I'm going to come down here and give it some more pressure. Press everything down again, once again. This, this, um, it's some special glue on this here or something. It's like, like if I wanted to, I could actually lift it right now before, before it dries up. Once it dries, man, it's on there. So, all right. So, we got lots of work to do. Um, I do not know where to begin actually. Uh, got shocks to redo. Um, just change oils. Hopefully, none of them leak. I'm actually gonna go up and down a lot with the wow, they wow, it feels good. This shock, uh, I'm gonna go up and down with them a lot just to I want to double check. There's no leaks, there's no. Uh, this rear chassis brace will no not be used at the moment at this time I will save it All right for in case I put another motor here. I'll have it. All right Two days has passed by Okay, and I Want to do some wrenching today, so I want to do the diffs over today. I want to kick in the oils So I gotta take everything apart um people just say ah oh, everything is new just throw it back on there yes that would be so much easy i could complete this today but it's not going to be that easy because i must change the diff oils on here since it's like this <clears throat> and since i've never used it it's clean it'll be so much easier to change i may not even have to go to my garage and use the parts washer use chemicals to clean it because when you, when you use your car, the diffs with the metals grinding, the diff oil, the silicone diff oil, will turn black. 
Once it's dark and black, you must clean that off before installing a new oil. So, since it's never been used, I'm gonna take each diff apart. I'm gonna do, I may start with the center first and um, just dump them, put the diff cups upside down, let them drain by themselves. It'll, it'll be burnt, still like new, clean, never used. And I'm just gonna put my 500K on there. I do have a locker, which I gotta show you uh, in, a, in a goodies parts bag, but um i'm not gonna be locking it just yet i may lock it when i put another motor here for now we're gonna run 500k and we're gonna do 100k and 100k front and rear okay so let's see how that goes but before i do that this has been sitting already for two days i did heat it up once more i put these um these these rods here these these shafts here that where your bearings steering bearings roll on okay they roll here and here all right this is where your steering assembly mounts to uh, gets installed to and always remember to throw a little coating of grease here all right because a lot of times uh, if you're washing or if you're driving in moisture or whatever sometimes the bearings get stuck to this all right, so always give a little thin coat of grease here. I'm sure I'll, uh, I'm just telling you guys just in case if I forget, if I don't do that. But um, I'm sure you will be seeing me doing grease on a lot of things. All right, see this never had grease. Most of the time, not even a Losi 5T comes with grease with them. But um, only like on kits that you build, like the Losi 5B um, Nitro 4.0, uh, chuggy and buggy that when you build one a TLR kit uh, from scratch you, Losi adds the, the black graphite grease uh, uh, certain greases certain oils and they tell you where to put it and this is where they would tell you definitely you know they would tell you all these spots where to go whatever so on a RTR unfortunately they just throw the stuff on uh, most of the time you have to do things on your own but usually on a kit from ground up, um, you would know about that. You know, you would you would do the grease where it belongs and where it should, where it could help you in the future and not have any issues. Because right? I've had issues removing my bearings, the old bearings, off shafts, and also other people's uh, RCs as well. I work on many other RCs as well. I have a bunch of friends, and a while back. I don't have time now, but a while back I used to work on a lot of RCs for local hobby stores when they would be busy. So, um, what else? What else? Yeah. So what I'm gonna do to, right now before I start working on the diffs, just give a, I'm gonna, you know me and my silicone spray. All right. I, I'm just gonna throw a coat in here and wipe it off. You know, just because it's a waterproofer, it's a protector, it's good for everything. Why not? All right, it's, I spent money on this. Why not? All right, I've I've done it on my other one and it's been good. So. I use this on my Chrome. All right, so I put this on my my boots. If I get brand new boots or before winter. Before it snows or before I go out in the snow, I put silicone spray on my boots. Look at that, nice. Easy underneath of the chassis. It'll dry up on its own, but I'm just passing a, a, a rag, a microfiber cloth on it. I'm not, I don't want to remove it. I'm just like spreading it all over the, you know. There's going to be many coats going on here, so I'm not worried. This is just the first coat I, hit, I did here. 
Okay, the first coat. This is gonna have a ton of coats. 